on it look mom no hands let's check this deck out real quick so this deck is basically playing off the new uh ronin and uh oh my gosh maximus uh they both got a pretty big boost maximus being a 2-6 now it's just a crazy good stat line he's an overall just really good card so throwing him in this deck obviously works great with ronin to kind of clog up your your buddy's hand get that enemy's hand you know just a little bit larger let's see what we get here oh nice i will take beast that's a great card <laughs> and then ronin is our big boy now being a 5-5 five, five base stat plus two for each card in your hand so here's just my take on this. There's a lot of different variants of how you could play this deck. Basically trying to clog up hands. So we have Iceman. Iceman's just in this deck really to clog up a player's hand. You know, prevent them from playing a certain card because you make it a little more expensive. Kind of break a couple combos. Master Mold, obviously filling their hand. And really just anytime they play the Sentinels, it's just going to keep replenishing their hand. Shadow King is just a good card in general, but he really can help right now with, you know, gnolls or blobs or whatever the case might be. But also, he's just good to stack on top of our Ronin. You know, he's he's a uh, he's kind of carrying a lane lines off Ronin in one lane, Shadow King in another. Um, really, if you can get Ronin out turn three, get um, Mystique out turn six with Shadow King. And maybe Iceman if you can get it out. Or maybe Mystique and Morph if you can get that out. That's a great combo. Or even Crystal just at the end to kind of fill their hand up a little bit more. Um, Baron's in here. Just once again, fill their hand up. You're giving them a card that maybe disrupts a combo. You know, maybe you hit a Wong. Maybe you hit something really cheap that now all of a sudden is worth... You, nothing to them like you hit a one drop they're never going to play that one drop because it's up to six once again maximus like i said he's just a great stat line morph and mystique are really in here just because if you're kind of clogging their hand you're kind of expecting that there's going to be some good stuff in there or if you wait till the end you might have something good to play morph um mystique kind of really just to copy that ronin um it could also kind of help with some other stuff like maybe cosmo but I really only have it in here to copy Ronin. Black Widow, I'm not sure if I love where she's at right now, but having her in here is, it's kind of weird because you're preventing them from drawing, but you're giving them a negative power card. So you're really just helping yourself in that manner. Cosmo, this is really just, you know, you can use Cosmo as a protective factor for Ronin. If you know which lane you're gonna play Ronin, maybe play Cosmo in that lane. Cosmo will protect Ronin from getting Shadow King. Cosmo will protect Ronin from getting shang chi So, but obviously Crystal just to play that and shang chi to combat the big boys. So, it's an interesting take on this deck. We're going to try a couple games. So far I've played eh, probably about half a dozen games with it. And we're looking probably at about a 50% win rate. So, let's try to get two or three games in here. Um, and just see what we can do. Um... Mad Panda's up first, so let's really check this out. If you catch me in game, General Sows, uh, thank you for watching the response respond, and I'm just gonna go along with this commentary and see see how we can do here. So it's a it's definitely a weird a weird deck to play through. It takes a little bit of time to uh, definitely learn the deck, but the concept is pretty simple: fill their hand with junk, uh, boost up your own. So that's great for us too. I'm thinking fill the middle up with our good cards and maybe do Cosmo, Ronin, right? Because obviously we have that left preventing us. That's still not the end of the world, so. I think, well, actually, let's Crystal here try to get our, a Cosmo. Another thing that I have considered is Scarlet Witch, just because I, I keep seeing certain locations popping up that are kind of mis messing up this. I think you could maybe replace... Um, maybe replace Baron with Scarlet Witch but I, I'm not sure it's it's a hard it's a hard thing to say I'm actually not sure does Shadow King work on this location I mean we have our we have our uh, Shang-Chi to really combat that We 
We could also just destroy the crap out, out of their collector, but I think we're gonna do this. I could have probably played Baron last turn. That was me just commentating and not paying attention. Don't make my mistakes. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I know you guys might comment that I messed up here. And if I do lose this game, I, I know exactly where I messed up. I could have probably also played Iceman right, but I kind of want to have some flexibility. So they're going to throw out their own Shang-Chi, which I kind of figured. Wait, how much? They got six cards in their hand. So here is the real question. Hmm. That would win. But we definitely, they're definitely gonna try to fight right or left. But we could win a tiebreaker too, can we? Because six cards, six plus, that's 12. 17 plus 5. So, I mean, I think we can win the tiebreaker here unless they play. Yeah, I was gonna say, unless they play something huge. I, maybe I'm. I, maybe I shouldn't because they just played Loki. But. Yeah, I, I think we might have lost it. But this. As you'll see, this. Uh, this Ronan will just carry the middle lane by himself. <laughs> So, yeah, like I said, I know exactly where I messed up. I could have played, I could have been filling Bear and Iceman and Shadow King all right. But, unfortunately too, like I said, these locations have just not been lucky. Because we got the Isle or whatever. And we got the one that makes your cards plus one more on turn five. So, not getting Ronin out on turn five kind of sucks. Because then you can't Mystique Ronin on turn six. So, let's see if we get a little bit better luck location. Okay, I'll take that. That's not too terrible. Especially when it comes for something like Master Mold and uh, Baron because they're not ha they don't have ongoing effects, so it's really not that big of a deal. So they're playing Sunspot, which is kind of interesting, but if they boost the crap out of that, I mean, it could honestly be a, a bot here, but who knows. I don't want to say that and lose because, I'm trust me guys, like I said, do as I say, not as I do. I think we're just gonna. We don't. It will switch out, so we don't want to do that yet. Just because of Starlight. Starlight Citadel kind of also is a, not the best location ever for us. But okay, there we go. Now we got the line. We got Ronin and we got Mystique, so we're good. So if we can just get Shadow King or. Anything of the sort, that would be fine. Replenishing their hand for us. <coughs> so, with that being said, let's say we play Ronin here. Or actually, let's play Ronin here. Just because I'm not sure how that interaction works with Starlight, so they'll move it. If we get something big, if we get something big over here, Nope, uh, but they got a leech. God dang, that is annoying. <laughs> uh, let's see what we can draw. I don't know if it will make a difference. Shadow King might carry that. And then we just go for pure power here, which would be these two cards, I think. Uh, but we can't play them. Dang. But we could do five here, maybe. It's, it's going to be a risky play, but... I think we win. Holy crap. Shadow King. Yes, okay. So we didn't actually win left, but they didn't contest mid. So I feel like that might have been a bot. <coughs> but Leech got so lucky that I feel like 8 out of 10 times we would have lost that. We just got pretty lucky with, with our Shadow King. They got really lucky with Leech, though. Uh, that's, that was like the perfect timing to hit Ronin and Leech. Or Odin and Leech because that's a lot of power, but it couldn't be destroyed with Shang Chi. That's even 
Honestly, guys, I think a lot of people sleep on Lady Deathstrike. I feel like, I know she's really good in Destroy Decks, but I feel like she's so good just for getting rid of those smaller threats. Like, ongoing threats. Threats that, you know, you can't really contest. Okay, our Mystique's gone. It's not the end of the world. We don't have to retreat just because Mystique's gone. Honestly, I might just try to destroy some of their power if they play into mid. They might not even try to contest mid, though. But, who knows. Great. Is Dream Dim I feel like I've been getting Dream Dimension every turn. Uh... Let's just do this. <coughs> We're not going to play Black Widow yet in case we get Morph. Because if we get Morph next turn, I might Morph and Snap, depending on what we get. They could also play their Widow's Bite on the left and then destroy it if they're running Destroy. I don't think this is Destroy, obviously, but this could be some weird... I'm really not sure. Yondu, Scorpion... I guess it's just a clog. I guess they're just trying to clog our hand up a bit. See, with this... So now, they kind of protected our, our Ronin with their own Cosmo. So, hear me out. Let's do this. Just in case they don't play left. Like, whole game. Then we play Ronin right, which is protected by their Cosmo from any Shang-Chi's. Then depending on what they play mid, we can Shang-Chi it ourselves. Because <coughs> there's really no... We're still technically at a high. So, okay, great. We destroy something of theirs. A hazmat. I'll take it. I will take that. It's good for them to get that out, but... Nothing's really changed. We're still in the same position. <sighs> so Cosmo here is kind of annoying. Maybe we just do this. I think this might be what we do. They could definitely come back mid, but Shang-Chi could destroy that. But they could also play mid rickety bridge next turn. So <sighs> it's hard. It's hard. It's a hard call here. I'm only doing Crystal just because I want to see what I can draw into. Because right now, I really don't have any great play lines. Okay, that Baron is also not a great play line. So they're just playing Enchantress mid just for power. So it's a tie. So this would protect that. But if they play left, play something higher, anything left, and they play something in mid, they would win mid. But I think we can beat a tiebreaker. Okay, so that's fine. That's still fine. That's still fine. I think we win a tiebreaker here. We're up by three. We're up by four. Yeah. GG. That's a good win. Holy crap. So, well, you know, honestly, I feel like maybe their own Cosmo kind of saved us there. Because they couldn't... Destroy. We knew we could. They couldn't destroy our Roman. They couldn't Shang Chi it. They couldn't Enchantress it. They couldn't do whatever because of their own Cosmo. So that kind of got lucky there. So there's kind of the power of this deck. What two, two or three games just got to win. I really like that variant too. So two, two or three games just got a dub. Uh, check back in the next couple of days, guys, because you might get 300 gold and this crazy Magneto variant. So if you're checking this out before Christmas, get ready for this Magneto. It's pretty sick. So thank you guys for watching. As always, this is your sponsor, Spawn, checking out. Uh, check out some of my more shorts for some of my more cool plays coming up in uh, Marvel Snap. I'm going to try to post more Marvel Snap content on the regular and uh, just build out some more decks. I got probably 20, 30 decks to showcase that I really, really think are great. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.